What's up, TGN Nation, and yes, gamers, Robert the Bruce here, and today we're looking at the H&K MP7. This beast of a PDW makes its return in Battlefield 4 via the China Rising expansion DLC. You unlock this close quarters monster by completing the Make a Dent assignment. This is a pretty easy assignment, because all you have to do is destroy an air vehicle with one of the anti-aircraft rocket launchers and get three anti-vehicle ribbons. I prefer the Igla for shooting down air vehicles because even though you have to maintain lock until the rocket hits, it has longer range than the Stinger, so there are more opportunities to reach out and say hello to the enemy chopper pilots. After you get that kill, you just need to start blowing up enemy vehicles until you get three anti-vehicle ribbons. Toss out some mines, shoot down more helis, it's not brain surgery, just make stuff go kaboom. Once you have the MP7, you'll be pleased to find out that the iron sights aren't that bad. The iron sights on so many other weapons in Battlefield 4 make you feel like you're trying to find the enemy while looking through a straw, so it's refreshing to have functional sights as soon as you start using the weapon. The MP7 chews through ammo at an insane 950 rounds per minute fire rate. This is really awesome, but it also makes us happy that this gun comes with a 40 round magazine right out of the box. The hit fire on it is solid from the get go, but once you throw a laser on it, things just get silly. Start strafing around your enemies with this bad boy firing at your hip, and soon they'll all be respawning and looking at each other saying, What just happened? The one drawback of this weapon is that it is a PDW, so it struggles at longer ranges. Burst firing will help you at medium range, but other than that, keep things up close and personal. This is definitely my go-to weapon on smaller maps, and the assignment is easy. So go unlock the MP7 and let your close quarters reign of terror begin. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.